In this video I'm gonna show you how to host the GoDaddy registered domain on your Bluehost account. First thing, you have to have your uh, domain already ready in your GoDaddy account and you need an active Bluehost account. So let's log in to your GoDaddy account. Just type in your username and password. And click on manage domains here. And now you see the list of your active domains on your GoDaddy account. Select the one that you want to host on your Bluehost account. Let's say uh, we host this zoomdown.com this time. Click on it and you see a list of uh, the setting of your domains. Click on name servers and manage. And you can see some uh, name server set up here. Usually it's the standard GoDaddy setup which is uh, ns something that domain control .com. You need to select custom, then edit name servers, delete these things. I don't know, this is from the old uh, owner of the domain. And type in ns1.bluehost.com and ns2.bluehost.com These are the name servers of your Bluehost account. <coughs> so that's all you need. Uh, you press OK and you press Save and now your GoDaddy domain points to your Bluehost account. There is one more step. You need to set this up in your Bluehost account. So let's just log in to your Bluehost account. And here we are in uh, in our cPanel in the Bluehost account. So search for domain management and add-on add -on domains. We we need an add-on domain. This is what it's called in domain management. <coughs> so here you need to type in your domain name. In this case it's zoomdown.com. And you see Bluehost is verifying your domain. If it's set up correctly in your GoDaddy account, it says ownership verified. So you don't need to do anything else. You just scroll down. And uh, usually I, I like to create a new directory for a new domain. You can uh, choose otherwise, but this is what I recommend. You just press assign this domain. And usually it takes a, a few minutes for Bluehost to create the domain, but basically you are ready to go. Uh, when you set up, when you point your domain from GoDaddy to another uh, hosting company, it usually takes from a few minutes to one or two hours to propagate this change through the internet. Usually you can uh, start using it right away, but sometimes you need to wait a few minutes, a few hours, but uh, you are ready to go. Once uh, Bluehost finishes uh, setting up your domain, you can check it uh, in your browser and you can start uploading your files or uh, installing WordPress. And this is when it looks like when Bluehost finishes uh, creating your new domain. <coughs> and let's just give it a try. Just type in zoomdown.com. And this is actually the old content on the old hosting account. This is not my content, I just bought this domain. But uh, this is fine. Uh, I told you sometimes it uh, takes a few hours to uh, to the new hosting uh, data to propagate through the internet. But here we are back a few hours later and, and just uh, typing the same domain name zoomdown.com. This is what you want to see. This is okay. This is uh, this is a generic Bluehost page, and this says that the the domain actually points to Bluehost, and and your Bluehost account is set up correctly. So now uh, you can uh, install whatever uh, website you want. You can install your WordPress. You can install another type of website or or just an HTML website. So this is uh, this is the way to use GoDaddy and Bluehost combined if you have a GoDaddy 
domain if you have a domain registered with GoDaddy and you want to host it on Bluehost. I hope you like this video. Uh, please give me a thumbs up if you did and uh, subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.